Let's welcome back to the show retired Army Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano. It's great to have you back on. Okay, reporter Josh Rogan at the Washington Post says that the number of Republicans are demanding that HHS and the Pentagon investigate whether the Wuhan Military World Games in October of 2019 in China was the first international super spreader event for COVID-19. What do you think? Well, clearly we already know that China initiated the global pandemic. Essentially, they created a super spreader event. We know that they that this was a novel virus that they never seen before. They knew it was highly contagious. They knew it could be very deadly. They knew they didn't have vaccines or therapeutics to deal with it. Um, they knew it was highly transmissible. And yet they did two very important things. They delayed reporting that they agreed to under WHA rules, which should have alerted the world to the pandemic. They didn't report. They didn't provide the information. And they allowed many thousands of people to travel internationally, knowing for a fact that they were likely infected with COVID. So there is no way that you can't say the responsibility for the initial super spur event belongs to the Chinese government. That is indisputable. The second point, though, is did it happen in the lab? I, they, they're on to an issue because look at the three things the government has done. They said we're going to get to the origins of this. We're going to demand the WHO investigates. We know that that's not going to happen. We're going to demand that China cooperate. We know that that's not going to happen. We're going to review existing intelligence. Well, we know that's not producing any new intelligence, so it's not going to tell us any more. So the three things that yeah. this president has looked us in the eye and said, I will do, we know for a fact won't actually get us one step closer to the truth. Okay, let's get back to the, the, the 9,000 international athletes from more than 100 countries travel to Wuhan, China to do these Olympic-style games. Right. France, Germany, Luxembourg, Italy said their athletes got sick with COVID-19-like symptoms. We're talking October 2019. That's months before China announced the, uh, the official start of the outbreak. So that means the cover-up started earlier. That's exactly. the implication of this. What do you say? What do you I, say? I th that's exactly right. Go back and look, you know, go back and you know, roll the tape. After the SARS outbreak and China did not report when they initially saw novel viruses that were highly contagious, the, the, the WHO put in a whole new set of rules specifically because China failed. China agreed to those rules. If you look what happens in October, November, December, China is not reporting things that clearly are reportable and clearly of concern. And are not only not, they're not reporting them, they're not taking any of the reasonable precautions to prevent international travel that, would, that, that, that it was facilitating the spread of the disease. You know, we, we just not had the, the world athletes. We had a mass, massive number of Chinese that worked in Italy, came home for the Lunar New Year, and then went back. That whole process, coming being in China and going back occurred during the yeah. period that China knew it had a pandemic that was raging out of control. Final word, where is the hair on fire outrage from Dr. Fauci about this and the possibility? We don't, we're not even saying it's an engineered mutant virus that could have right. escaped. How about just a lab leak? Where's the outrage at that possibility? Where's Your the president word? of the United States not proposing one measure that would actually get at the truth? The president of the United States told us he's going to do three things all of which he personally knows won't answer the question. All right, Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano, thanks for joining us, and thank you for your service to our country. Come back soon. It's good to see you, my friend. Okay.